right when we were all expecting the worst. Like, okay, maybe I was because I'm a Raiders and a Vikings fan. So I was expecting the worst as the Raiders played the San Francisco 49ers at home and still found a way to barely lose. Like, it's just this team. Like, I, don't get me wrong. There are silver linings in the NFL, especially with how Jarrett Stidham played against arguably, well, really, in reality, the best defense in the entire NFL. And quite honestly, I, I, I really didn't want to make this video, but at the same time, when a guy plays uh, at a level that uh, does make the number one defense question what they're doing in a lot of ways, uh, yeah, you got to be able to give him the absolute credit here. So, yes, completed 67.6% .6 of his passes. Yes, did have that ugly interception at the end there, but I do believe that was more of Colton Miller's doing and not putting his heels in and not get blown back by Nick Bosa, but that's a discussion for another time. But, uh, you know, completed, like I said, 67.6% .6 of his passes for 365 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, uh, having a quarterback rating of one. 108.1 and yes this team really like there were glimpses where whether it was the 60 yard touchdown pass to Devontae Adams whether it was the nice touchdown pass to Darren Waller really or even the first pass he completed uh, you know uh, to really start the game there uh, with Foster Moreau I, I was really encouraged like I felt like okay yes Josh McDaniels and company are putting this guy in the best position to be successful which you know depending on your stance with Derek Carr, I don't necessarily think they've done that 100% of the time. But the question now has to be asked, is Jarrett Stidham the guy for the Raiders? Now, I don't want to just go off one game and say, oh, you know, and say that the sun doesn't shine on every athlete once in a while. And I, I actually kind of want to argue this to a point because – when I was in college, my senior year, we went to play a, a team in Chicago. Uh, when, when I, you know, we were an NAI team playing another NAI team, uh, and we went against a team that was like one and nine the year before. We ended up, uh, we we went against them, and they set the record for the most passing yards in a game. Uh, you know, I, I played well. I had a sack. It, it was fun or whatever. But our we just got shredded the entire game. Like defensively, we didn't do anything we needed to. But we had the the, the other team had the element of surprise. Like, uh, it was also in Leslie Frazier Field, by the way, for you Vikings fans out there. But the biggest thing that I took away from that is some teams have the element of surprise. And that's exactly what I felt like the Raiders did against the 49ers last week. They didn't, you know, nobody had seen Jared Stidham. They didn't know what to expect. What exactly, what is he going to do with this offense? And he played well. I'm not going to, uh, you know, just uh, cast any dispersions toward him because he actually did a very nice job for the Raiders. But it, was it more of an act of the unknown for the 49ers or was it actually Jared Stidham going out there and playing uh, absolutely lights out. He was a stud. Again, I'll extend the olive branch. He was a stud, but I really want to see what he does against the Chiefs. I think he's at a, a position where hey, you've got your final game. You've got, you're in a position where Derek Carr clearly taking a little bit of a break away from the team. I understand all that. Uh, and you're in a position where, quite truthfully, you could make a case for being the number one quarterback coming back next year. No, regardless of what the team does, I know we're going to make a video about uh, what the Raiders need to do with their rookie quarterbacks and all that, who they need to get, get blah, 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 blah. The point is, Jared Stidham finds himself in a very good situation right now. Like, I know the Chiefs, they're most likely going to, you know, they've, they've got a potential to lock up the number one seed, blah, 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 blah. I say whatever you want about the Chiefs. But Jared Stidham, if he can continue to play like this, if he puts up a, get, a good showing against the Chiefs, he's got a couple of games under him. So the, the coaches really know what to have in Jared Stidham. He could be the guy moving forward. And I think based off what we saw against a really good defense in the 49ers, I think it's something to consider. So, you know, in answering the question of is Jared Stidham the guy for the Raiders, I really want to see what he does against the, the, the Chiefs before I get way out there. But I really like what I saw against the 49ers. And I think that there's a lot of things that you uh, you got to like about the guy because he absolutely did go play lights out uh, and gives you a little bit of hope, especially as a Raiders fan. I'm saying that from the heart, being a Raiders fan. So, but let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms uh, make sure you guys give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports bp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover but let us know what you guys think is jared stidham the guy for the las vegas raiders